Hi everyone, so this is a five month update on my dreadlock journey. I can't believe I'm at the five month. I was just <laughs> thinking about this and I thought, oh my God, tomorrow is the five month mark. I say tomorrow because um, I'm going to be quite busy and um, tomorrow, so I thought I'd just make um, a video now. I've actually got a few videos that I'm already made about the products that I'm using and that kind of information and I didn't put them up. Um, I actually forgot to put them up so I'm not sure I, if I'll mention that in this video um, but briefly I'll just quickly go over what it is I'm doing and there's a few other things that I want to talk about. Uh, so yes, basically I wash my hair as and when it needs it. Now I'm not going to say once a week or once every two weeks or whatever because um, it really de it is dependent on how my hair is feeling and so anyway that's all I do and I wash it with Faith in, Ma Na uh, Faith in Nature which is a British brand which I prefer because it's um, all the ingredients are sourced locally and that's something that I'm a really big advocate for um what else what else um once a month before I henna my hair because I still henna my hair I will use a baking soda with water mixed with water and to deep cleanse my hair and I use apple cider vinegar. It's kind of like a conditioner and it really does work. Um, and in between I spritz with um, rose water. That's it and I will oil the ends of my hair with um, jojoba oil. No, is it? No, it's not. It's grapeseed oil, sorry. Um, or coconut oil, one or the other, and that's pretty much my routine, nothing else, I don't do anything, I just leave my hair to be. Now, the roots are looking a bit more, they are, they seem to be definitely on their way, and I'm really happy about that. Don't know if you can see um the roots of my hair can't really see that well in this video but anyway this is how it's looking today it's a little bit kind of um ropey slash um stringy i don't know if it's just it feels like i'm going through another phase in my um dreadlock journey because they were kind of more puffed out before, like thicker, and now they're going a little bit more ropey, so I'm not sure. And as you can see, the ends are still curly, so they haven't looked. Now, I just want to state that I know a lot of girls are um, um, uh, deliberately leaving the ends out and things like this, and I haven't actually done that. This is the way my hair is naturally looking. This is the journey it's on. I'm not, I didn't specifically leave the, length, the, the ends out. However, um, I have been told that by leaving the ends out, the um, your dreadlocks will dry quicker. And so that is a bonus. And so I am thinking about that. If the ends do start to bud, which some of them have, when they start to actually form and bud, properly you know all of it I may roll um, comb out the end if it becomes if it poses an issue in regards to um, drying because I live in England and it's a cold climate and you know I don't know what the winter is going to bring um, this year we don't I really don't know I wasn't here last year for winter but I know when I came back to the UK it was snowing so <laughs> I don't know what kind of and by then when the winter sets in um, 
I will be well into my dreadlock journey. So we'll see, we'll see how and what happens and develops. Now, I did want to talk about something because um, I want to talk about whilst we embark on this dreadlock journey, so much comes up um, in terms of our life and what I'm seeing and what's going on in and around me and I just wanted to talk about this because um, I recently had an invite to go to um, London um, and although I am honoured and it's it's a lovely gesture to be you know to be asked to go somewhere I was I mean an hourin about this and the truth be told um, I just feel like um, I've kind of for those that may or may not know um, I lived in London I moved to Brighton and then I went traveling and I've come back to Brighton so the truth be told that I left that life behind for a reason and um, you know I I had a completely different lifestyle whilst I was in London and I've left it behind to um, to I guess explore another side of me and with exploring another side of me also this is a big part of who I am now and who what I'm embracing uh, within my natural being a natural state of being in a natural organic way and I feel like um, while I was um, this comes up about you know going to London what have you um, I feel like I was kind of 